What's up, folks? Glad to see you again. This video will give you a step-by-step -step instruction on RS-485 serial communication with the upgraded ATO BLDC drivers rated at 30 amps, 50 amps, and 100 amps. To begin with, the new version and the previous one are essentially the same in terms of their wiring with the motor, which includes three parts, respectively phase connection, whole wire connection, and DC power connection. Wires involved are distinguished by different colors and different sizes. All wires must be connected properly. The color of each wire as well as their descriptions has been given above. A RS-485 to USB converter has been used to make the connection between RS-485 interface and PC or any other master. The connection is complete as shown in the figure. That's the end for the preparation of hardware on the motor side. Before starting control with the driver, we need to get the dial code ready. To achieve this, we're going to select closed loop control mode. What we need to know before carrying out communication is the default station number and board rate of the controller. Insert the RS-485 to USB converter into the PC. Click open the device manager to take a look at the COM port number. What we've adopted here is the Modbus RTU protocol. If you want to control the driver, you need to select function code 06 to write data to the special storage area. The addresses for major functions are tabulated as follows. For example, the address for activating RS-485 is 0025 hex. The address for selecting control modes is 0005 hex. 0022 hex represents the address for run command. Here we'll run a driver code as example. The steps are given as sequenced. Open the RS-485 port. Select the control mode. Set the speed. Select the rotation direction and activate the motor. Make sure the wiring is nicely done. Open the test software. Set the COM port, board rate, and protocol type as per specifications. Open the port. Enter and run the code to open the RS-485 port. Enter the control mode selection code. Input the speed setting code. The code 0BB8 in hexadecimal equals 3000 RPM in decimal. Enter the code for rotating direction. Enter the start code and you can see the motor starts spinning immediately. And the motor stops rotating as soon as the stop command is written to the address 0022. The motor restarts with command 0001 written to address 0022.
clear all data. Next, we're going to test the read command 03. We'll let the program read the current speed command of the motor. The command code is 01030100001 plus track code, which is optional. 0BB8 hertz is the currently read motor speed, which equals 3000 revolutions in decimal. The software can also read data in other storage areas, such as amperage, temperature, etc. For more details, please view our protocol document. That wraps it up. Hope this video will help you out in some way. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with notifications so that you won't miss any of the action here on our channel. For all the items featured in this video such as the motor and the controller, you can learn more about them and even go shopping on them if you're interested by visiting the links in the description down below. Any purchase made through those links will help us a lot. Thank you so much for being here and we can't wait to see you in our next video.